back to my experience in music uh, in high school with Lou Phelps and with, with Madrigals, I, I can't help getting very personal about it because um, when I was a kid, uh, just 15 and a half years old, I left home and um, I wound up living with uh, friends for a while and then living behind uh, Priscilla's Smith's house, a little guest house, and um, so for me, um, I could have easily fallen through the cracks and never even graduated from high school. But the music program was my connection to school. It was my social life. It was my um, it was my life, and so uh, Lou Phelps took a partic particular interest in me. And I don't know if he really knew what was going on in my life, but. But it was as if, as if he did. Yes. Yes, Glenn. Glenn Thomas came in as a sophomore and sang the low C. Every choral director would kill to have a voice like that. It's a rare voice, and I knew it was rare. And so, yes, I did what I could do to help him. Myself when young did eagerly prepared, doctor and saint and her great argument. took me aside and he gave me personal voice lessons um, in his home and uh, knowing that and hoping that I was going to move on to college and study music in college he gave me theory lessons at home and taught me um, what many high school students around the country who were going to be music majors knew but which I never would learn in a normal music program and so uh, ultimately um, helped me get a scholarship at the University of Arizona and then followed me over there to finish up his doctorate. A teacher often is in a position to notice individuals, not just the class, the whole class, but can recognize in one individual the tremendous potential that that individual may not even be aware of and other people in his life may not know about it either. And in a sense, I saw that in Glenn. Uh, Glenn had this remarkable voice and he had a lot of other characteristics that made it possible for him to really use that voice and uh, and I was pleased to help in a modest way 